Hello, my friend. Uh, this is Tony Stewart, and um, we're still talking about the coronavirus like everyone else is. And uh, I want to specifically drill down on a question that I've been getting from people who kind of know how I am. Now, just to give you some perspective on this, last year I went to over, and I wouldn't have known this, but the movie theater actually sent me a report which is kind of crazy in and of itself, but it sent me a report and said that last year I went to over 50 movies. In 2019, I went to over 50 movies. That's how much I love going to movies. Uh, I remember something that Tony Robbins once said. He said, you know, these, these movie studios, they put millions of dollars up to entertain me for an hour and a half. And all I have to do is chip in a few dollars. And I've always loved that quote by Tony Robbins. And I love going to see movies. But obviously right now we're talking about social distancing. We're talking about being very germ aware and all these different things about the coronavirus and so forth. So the big question is, what am I going to do about movies? Well, I'll tell you in two parts. The first part is Hollywood is starting to make it actually a little easier because what's happening now is that they're anticipating anticipating people not going to the theater. And as a result, they are pushing back movies. I don't know if you heard about this, but the 007 movie that was about to come out, they've pushed back um, several months. Um, the Fast and Furious um, next uh, chapter of that, they've pushed back to next year. And uh, frankly, the, probably the, the biggest movie that I'm still excited about that's supposed to be upcoming pretty soon is, of course, one of those Marvel movies, Black Widow. And that's supposed to be coming at the beginning of May. And I'm hoping they push that back too. And let me tell you why. During this time, I'm not going to the movies. No, 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 no. And let me tell you why. Because if we do have to be conscious about germs and so forth, you know, and it's funny because I've gotten a number of emails from different theaters talking about how they clean their theater once a day. They clean their theater once a day. Let me tell you something. If you notice from any of my movie reviews that I've done on here that, you know, I try to always talk about what happens at the end of the movie. Should you stay past the end of the movie, past the end of the credits and so forth? If there's any hidden scenes and so forth, I always let you know. You can count on me to let you know. But let me tell you something. There's another thing that goes along with that. And the other thing that goes along with waiting to the very end of the movie is that once the movie is over, the house lights go on. And I'm here to tell you, folks, that when those house lights go on and you can see how yucky those theaters are, oh, my goodness. Oh, no. If you're if you're being conscious of germs right now, you don't want any part of that. So I'm telling you, because I have that knowledge, because I know what even the most conscientious theaters have looked like after one showing, let alone a day. Come on, a day, right? But anyway, uh, I'm not going to the movies, okay? So you won't be hearing about any movie reviews from me unless there's something I've watched at home and I can give you a review. And maybe that's what I'll do. I'll start reviewing some of the stuff that you can stream at home and we'll go from that standpoint. What you should do, though, with all that time, and I'm, what I'm going to do, hey, Eric, what I'm going to do with that time that I used to be going to the movies with is I'm going to get into some books. And let me tell you, I got the top five books that you should be reading right now. And this is a perfect time to do it. I'm going to harp on this because I believe that this could be a period of transformation for you as you're practicing social distancing as the world is telling you to do. You know, it may be overblown. It may not be overblown. But regardless, it's an opportunity because it's an opportunity for you to focus in. So, you send me a private message. I will send you the top five books you should be reading right now. It's recently changed from the last uh, several weeks or several months that I offer the top five because new books come out. And especially in this season with everything going on, there are five books that you should be reading. And guess what? Thanks to Hollywood, thanks to this coronavirus, you probably got time to do it. So inbox me. I'll see you in the top five list of books. Be blessed. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.